Good morning and welcome to Visin Wednesday. Today we're going to talk about 10 things you need to know in order to hike the Zugspitze. Before we get started, I want you to make sure that you like this video. If you like it, throw in a comment below if you have something else to add and subscribe to see more informational tip videos like these or more cool places of Germany and Europe. The first thing you want to remember when hiking is make sure that you bring some wool socks. I had these on my hike and it definitely helped me. I do remember there was one or two times where my feet got wet because it's wool it feels like it's dry fast like wool wicks the sweat and the moisture and water away from your feet to keep your feet feeling nice and cozy the second thing you need to remember is to bring a microfiber drying towel a lot of if you want to stay in a hut or even if you want to go swimming these towels will dry really fast and they let you pack them again for an immediate trek when we were hiking the Zugspitze, we ended up staying in some little huts that are along the way for an overnight sleep so we didn't have to do so much in one day. And as part of that, you also needed to bring a sleeping bag with you because they didn't have... They had blankets if you didn't bring yours, but they wanted you to bring your own sleeping thing to protect from bed bugs and things. So make sure you bring a sleeping bag. The fourth thing you want to bring with you is some slippers or some sandals that you can wear around inside, like house shoes. In our little hut, they wouldn't let you take your hiking boots or normal street shoes upstairs into the bedrooms to keep it cleaner, so make sure you bring some of those. We ended up walking around in our wool socks, but hey, it worked. Take number five, remember to bring sunscreen. We didn't bring any. Don't know why we didn't bring any, but we didn't. It was fine the first day because we were all in like trees and stuff, but day number two, we spent the whole day in the bare sun for like three to four hours. And I got burnt, you can see the red line like that. My arms are super burnt, so I'm wearing long sleeves today just so I don't have to deal with it. It's not fun, bring sunscreen. That's also why my face looks like red. You can see the lines and if I like frown or shrug, it hurts my head so bad. I feel like I have a constant fever, but I know I don't and I look so puffy. Ugh. For the purpose of this video, it's important to remember that we hiked the Zugspitze in the middle of September, so in like the end of summer, early fall. These tips should generally be good for that time, but also think about bringing like weather specific items for like the spring and summer and the winter if you happen to hike it during that time. Tip number six is to bring some shorts. So we went hiking in mid-September and we thought it would be a little chillier because it's close to winter. However, it was not. And I just threw shorts in my bag for the last minute because I was like, eh, why not? And actually that's what I ended up wearing for both days. And I, I planned on bringing like wearing like long pants, but I needed my shorts both days because it's just so warm. Tip number seven is to bring some cash with you. So when we stayed in our little huts, we hadn't paid ahead of time but they don't accept any kind of card. So make sure when you're staying in a little hut or something that you bring some cash with you too because that is the only way you can pay. Tip number eight is you may want to bring some like climbing sticks with you, like the little like walking sticks. We didn't bring any and we were kind of fine without them. We would just go down on all fours when we felt unsure. But I think that that could have helped like spread out your weight and made it not easy so you could fall. We saw a lot of people with them. The ninth thing you may want to bring with you is some hiking shoes. We hiked it in our tennis shoes, and that was seemingly okay. There were a few times when I felt my ankle kind of roll, so I feel like hiking shoes would have supported that, and they also wouldn't have let my feet get as wet. But if you don't have hiking shoes, you can make it work. Just be extra careful. Tip number 10, and equally important, is bring a first aid kit. We didn't bring one, but my general scouting background says that that was a big no-no. And while we're lucky that nothing happened, it is true. If something actually major happened, we would have been in a bit of a pickle. So bring a first aid kit, some bandages, some aloe vera, neosporin, you know, the simple stuff, nothing fancy. As part of that, I have a Swiss army knife with fingernail clippers on them, and I use that thing like at least two or three times. So ladies, you might especially like it because your fingernails get scraped up on the rocks. 
and they just chip and then they snag things. So bring some fingernail clippers too. Please consider supporting us on Patreon to help us travel to more places and learn more things about traveling in Germany and also get some cool content for yourself. You can get to meet our cats and much, much more. Thank you. Some extras that weren't part of the tent are a hiking backpack. We just had our normal backpacks and that got us by, but if you want the extra support and the stability of like having a strap around you to balance the weight, a hiking backpack is the way to go. And last but not least, you may want to also include a power bank. We didn't have one of those, so there are like two little charging stations that you can access in the hut, but then your phone or your smartwatch or whatever you have could potentially be stolen because no one watches over this area. So if you are afraid of that happening, make sure you bring a power bank or at least just sit there and let your watch your phone and watch charge. That wraps up our Vicin Wednesday video about the 10 things and more that you may need to bring with you if hiking the Zugspitze or in general hiking videos. We've filmed this at the Linderhof Palace, so this will be a special feature in one of our December videos. I'm not going to talk any more about that, but you can see this castle in the December videos. So keep your eyes peeled for those videos coming out soon. An afterthought is I really enjoyed having earplugs with me while I went on the hike to the Zugspitze. They allowed me quiet and peaceful sleep in this hut with many other sleeping strangers. Oh, I need to film the intro, okay. Up, 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 up.